Hi Pisces, welcome to your Year of the Dragon forecast reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement with the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Pisces, is to tune in and see what is happening for you in the year of the dragon. And I'm going to ask about your love life, your career, your finances, just get it all in this reading. But whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First, I'm going to do a mini meditation with my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. But if you just want to go ahead and pull, go right on into the card pull, go ahead and check the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you with me now, thank you so much for joining me. I will ask everyone to take a deep breath in, ring the sound bowl three times, and during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask any questions that are weighing heavily on your mind, and you can even take this opportunity to welcome any beings of the light into this space, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones. You're welcome to do this now as we do this many meditation. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants to talk to you about, about the year of the dragon, a powerful year for all of us, one of triumph, of growth. So I just want to see specifically what that will mean for you guys this year of the dragon. So tell me about year of the dragon for Pisces. So we have yin and yang. Whoa, number 30 here. So some of you guys are coming into a complete balance within yourself and as within, so without, as above, as above, so below, excuse me. But I do kind of feel this spiritual upgrade, Pisces. You're seeing the truth of the matter very clearly. And even with the darker situations, no longer are you going to look at them as something you can't do, you can't face. You're going to be very fully integrated in all that you're seeing, the light, the good, the bad, the ugly, but you are the one that, that has the power to kind of balance things out. And for others of you, I got to say with this yin and yang energy, it always makes me feel very strong soulmate energy, maybe perhaps even twin flame energy here. And for confirmation for some, the letter Y can be in someone's first, middle, last name. So I want to get more about this yin-yang energy, what's coming into balance, what will you be experiencing, or maybe even if this goes down the love path, who this could be. Tell me more about this energy. Someone could have a Chinese character tattooed onto them as well. Tell me more about this year of the dragon energy for Pisces. Temptation with number 19. Ooh. Pisces, all right, I'm going to be very real with you, okay? Some of you guys have been letting a karmic energy be a part of your life for too long. And this karmic energy is very well aware of the chemistry you guys share for each other, the passion that you guys have for each other, and maybe even for some, the sexual desire that has always linked the two of you. But Pisces, I gotta say, this temptation energy is preventing you from meeting your soulmate, your twin flame. So some of you guys, despite the powerful energy that's there between the two of you, some of you have been in a bit of denial about the karmic energy here. They, you know, when it's good, it's good. But when, you know, it goes silent or... There's just ways that they're manipulative. There's ways that they mistreat you, Pisces. 
And some of you may have been holding on to it just because you think they're going to change one day. But Pisces, I feel for a lot of you guys the need to say that this person is throwing off the balance within you and is maybe taking too much of you. So spirit may be kind of letting you know, Pisces, as you let go of this temptation, as you know what's not good for you and no longer entertain that, there will be an opening here. But this will be a test, Pisces, because I do feel the link between the two of you is still very strong. I feel air energy around this uh, karmic uh, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or a Gemini, perhaps, for some of you. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. What is What are three things that will be happening for Pisces? Year of the Dragon. What will be happening for Pisces Year of the Dragon? Okay, first card out, we have Patience and Planning, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. Yeah, there needs to be a lot to be taken into consideration. You guys are going to have maybe what you feel like is a slow start to the year, but it isn't. The silence of what's going on is giving you the opportunity to plan ahead, to plan accordingly. So whatever starts to come in later on in the year will be well executed. But I feel for some of you guys with this karmic energy and patience and planning, you guys are currently in separation or silence with this person. And, you know, again, it's a cycle thing. They are planning to come back, but they're keeping you in silence, I feel. Definitely, maybe even until July for a few of you. And I know for a lot of you, that's way too long, okay? Or maybe July is when you met this person. They could have a birthday in July for some. Tell me more about what's happening for Pisces. Year of the Dragon. Another event. Mental conflict. I'm telling you, around the middle of the year is maybe when this person will tempt you, when they'll come back. You did so much to understand that this was the last straw, that you're going to move on. But the way they say things, the way they come about, it's bringing up all these old memories again. So some of you guys may be kind of struggling with that in the middle of the year. But again, Pisces, the planning that you take time to do in the beginning of the year will help alleviate this mental conflict, will help. You make a better decision should your plans go accordingly, should you stick to your plans. Now, with this, if it has nothing to do with romance, it could just be a major decision happening in the middle of the year for you that will be hard for you to decide because you see the good on both sides or the bad on both sides. But Spirit will be helping you, sending messages of how to make this decision, Pisces. Tell me one more thing that will be happening for Pisces at the end of the year. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups. Love this. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So it looks like after this mental conflict in the middle of the year, you are equipped to make the right decision. Despite the temptation, despite the, you know, wondering if you are going to miss out on anything. You know deep down that this is something that has been throwing you off for a while, that has been putting you off course. And if this is not just romance, it could be, you know, being unhappy in the job you're working in or in a friendship or whatever it is. But for a lot of you, that has to do with love and romance. A new energy, a soulmate energy, one that is so much more emotionally available, emotionally understanding, kind, receptive, compassionate is entering your life. And I feel for a while, Pisces, you've kind of lacked this type of water energy that you so need as a water sign. Someone who's there for you, who listens to you, who honors you, who devotes to you, Pisces. This may be the time when that soulmate energy comes in. Bottom of the deck, victory and success. Despite some of the troubles, despite some of the slow starts that may be happening for you guys in the beginning of the year, you are coming out on top. This is the year you will be victorious. This is the year you will be successful. You're going to see the success and everyone that's witnessing you is going to see the success. You will be the person that is talked about. You will be the person that is envied, admired, praised. Pisces, Leo energy here. 
So let's go ahead and clarify these cards and get a bit more specific. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces in the beginning of the year. Six of Coins, okay. Taurus energy, very strong Taurus energy. If you have strong Taurus in your chart, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I suggest checking out the Taurus reading to see if there's messages for you there. But for me, Pisces, this is about investment. What do you want to invest in? Some of you guys may be kind of looking at your finances and saying, okay, there needs to be some budgets. There may need to be some things I need to cut back on spending and other things I need to start saving up for. A new home, a new car, just... You know, maybe some of you guys have kind of uh, spent a lot of money last year of the tiger and your finances and bills are kind of catching up to you. But should you be able to properly budget to map out a way to bounce back in your finances and stick to it, everything will be just fine. But this is definitely looking a lot like, what do I need to spend it on? What should I cut back on? What do I need to even for if it's nothing to do with money, but time and energy, as that is something that I feel is pentacle related as well for me as a tarot reader. You guys are kind of deciding what you want to participate in, put your time and energy into and what is no longer applicable, which will be adding to the balance in your life that has been kind of lacking. Tell me more. I'm hearing something about Pebble Beach. I don't know if you guys found a rock at a beach very recently or you will this year and it will be like a, a unique stone that you want to pick up and carry with you, put on your altar, put in a personal space for you guys, but it will be adding the energy of grounding to your life for some of you that have found that or will. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles energy for Pisces. Three of Cups, okay. So with the Three of Cups, you will definitely have, for some of you guys with the patience and planning, like a party to plan, a party to attend. Maybe some of you guys are event planners. Some of you guys are um, in the field of putting together social events, classes. You're a teacher. You, um, you know, could design or plan like some sort of getaway for you and your friends. And you may be the one that's kind of actively making all the plans and it's going to turn out very well and very successful so i think you guys are going to be honored for doing that good of a job be praised for it like a toast i'm seeing is given to you pisces but that could also be your spirit guide saying good job for getting grounded for looking at what it is that you need to kind of start motivating yourself more towards doing and pulling back on with the six of pentacles and maybe some of you guys i'll be real too you guys were going out a lot <laughs> maybe out to the bars, maybe out, you know, going to expensive dinners with your friends. And it's been adding up a bit. So some of you guys may need to kind of pull back on that going out in order to rebalance your finances. I feel for some of you guys, even though you're in separation with this temptation energy, there are others who are invested in you that want to get to know you, that want to take you out on dates that I should feel you could be open to, Pisces, and explore that. Tell me more about this Two of Swords energy, this Libra energy in the middle of the year for Pisces. Eight of Coins. Ooh, some of you guys, this is related to work, particularly. Some of you guys in the middle of the year are ready to change jobs. You don't feel passionate, motivated anymore about it. And I think you are seeing how much of yourself you are depleting into a job that isn't making you excited or happy. And others of you maybe have already started to, you know, go in that direction of leaving a job and have been kind of patiently planning a way to build up. And maybe you're going to hit some sort of a rut as new businesses always do or new job roles always do in the middle of the year. But if you stay focused and do not let the setbacks get to you mentally, it's nothing to worry about. But I also kind of feel for some of you, especially if there's Virgo energy um, around this temptation, I feel like that's where they're going to try to reverse the final straw that you laid out or maybe just kind of they're sensing that you're distancing yourself. You're not 
communicating when they try to reach out. You're sending very short, very uninterested messages back perhaps, and that's where they're going to try to put the effort in to re-spark the fire here. But tell me more about this Two of Swords energy. Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay. I had to look at the bottom of the deck and we have the King of Swords here. <sighs> Pisces. What I want to say to you during this time of conflict or mental decision, what you have to decide on is something that I feel you may need to sacrifice in order for your wish to come true. So what I mean by that is with, let's just say, this temptation that has been in your life for so long, this karmic energy, you may need to finally decide to put it off for good when they reach out, when they come back in the middle of the year, around that time, knowing that although there may be a slight loss of this person in your life, you will be gaining so much more. You will feel so much more within yourself because you're taking back that energy you gave out to this person or to this situation as well. But a lot of you guys, there may be an opportunity or a decision for you to make based off of a job role or a business that you've always wanted. But there may be a sacrifice of like the first stability of finances, that routine paycheck in order to get there. But I do have to say with the nine of cups and the eight of coins, if you work hard, if you stay focused, if you do what you love to do, it will reward you, Pisces. So that's something to maintain as you're going through this year as well. Now, tell me about this Ace of Cups. I want to know about this one here. So we have the Empress. Yes. Taurus energy, Libra energy, beautiful, abundant, self-love, self-care, attracting those that will give you that alignment of what you love for yourself, what you need for yourself is going to be blossoming and growing. Some of you guys, I have to say, if this does not pertain to you, it could be someone you know, there's pregnancy energy here, maybe a family member, maybe yourself, maybe someone you love that you impregnate, just throwing that out there for a few of you. But I do feel divine feminine energy. So some of you guys that associate more with divine feminine energy, let me clarify super quickly. We all have masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. However, we tend to lean more towards dominant masculine or dominant feminine. So if you feel more dominantly feminine, man, you are like the flower that's sending out its scent to attract all the bees to come in. And you're catching one that is going to give you the abundance, the love that you have been missing in your life through this temptation that is a soulmate energy. Now, others of you that are more divine masculine, you have a divine feminine falling quickly in love with you. And this divine feminine is beautiful inside and out. And they are very protective and caring and nurturing. They could be very creative, artistic. I'm seeing someone that is great at makeup, hair, someone that um, may draw, tattoo for a living, make art just for the fun of it, that type of energy here. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups energy for Pisces. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups energy for Pisces. My goodness, okay. That's a little too much, Spirit. Thank you for the message, but one card, please, for Pisces. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Then we have Nine of Swords. Ooh, yeah. Gemini energy, okay bottom of the deck then we have the four of swords so overall pisces they're with the four of swords whatever this is in romance this is in work you need to find that balance between work and play because a lot of you guys i see have been either too much on the play side going out and haven't been pursuing the goals you've wanted or the other way you guys have just been working 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 and you're running on a low tank of gas and you're not giving it your all the way you should because of the burnout. So spirit does want you to find that balance between rest and work generally, okay? And even romantically when you need to like go all in, when you need to give it space, okay? But anyway, with this nine of swords energy, I do feel you guys are going to second guess this cup of love coming in, this blessing coming in for others of you. 
You almost think it could be too good to be true. You're going to be suspicious. You're going to be nervous. It's triggering a lot of what this karmic energy put you through in the past, Pisces. But I have to say, like, this Empress Ace of Cups energy is a blessing. And the only way that this could kind of sabotage itself is through your own worries and fears around it. Definitely you can be a bit aware. I'm not saying to go in it blindly, but I just have to say don't push this person away because of what someone else has done. Others of you, I wonder if this is the temptation energy that always thought you were going to be around seeing that you're in this new energy with this new soulmate. They're going to get worried. They're going to get nervous. They're going to try to, you know, do what they can to steer this off course. And that may be part of the test that spirit wants you to pass. If you pass, you will get a blessing of the Ace of Cups here overall. Love it. All right. Tell me about Pisces love life. What is happening? Something happening in the love life here? So we have clock, okay? Needing time cycles and takes time, time to heal and progressing. This is all about divine timing here. This is giving me major temperance energy, Sagittarius, Libra energy for me as a reader. But I do kind of feel like, you know, especially for the first, um, you know, few months of the year, you guys are going to need to take that time to heal, to really reflect to really kind of understand that karmic energy that is trying to steer you off course of what is best for you. And I do feel even the more time that goes by, it's proving to you that this temptation energy is just in for themselves. And you're always on their time. Not this time around. <laughs> but I feel overall, like, if you guys start to get worried towards, especially with the Two of Swords, you start to get lonely and maybe, again, there hasn't been as much excitement around your love life or a passion that has sparked it since this temptation. Spirit is saying, put the pause on it. Put the break on it. Wait. Don't feed into the temptation of bringing that energy back. Because there is something in the works that is taking time, but you need to heal first. So whatever comes in will be in alignment with you, Pisces. And if you take that time to heal, if you take that time to rebuild within yourself what was lost from this karmic energy, I mean, the weight will be well worth it with the Ace of Cups, I'm telling you. And with that being said, it could be around Scorpio season or a Scorpio energy that comes in your life, okay? Around that Ace of Cups. I do want to say through every water season of this year do what you can to start diving into your creative skills your dreams start kind of focusing on that because i feel the water seasons are going to be very powerful and potent for that creativity pisces tell me more let's see about your career and finances for pisces okay we have a gift and look at that yeah, you will be well supported. You will be well received. I do feel even people sending you investments, sending you, you know, thank yous through an increase of, you know, tips maybe for some of you guys. But it says someone might give you a gift, lend you money or help you in some way. So if you guys are looking for a loan in the beginning of the year, it does look like you will get it. You could get a cash bonus at work. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. So for a lot of you guys, Spirit is just reminding you of the creative gifts you have. You're naturally talented, and that is something that is going to make you so much more money than the mundane, than what you're only doing just to pay the bills. I swear, Pisces, you will be rewarded tenfold by doing what you love to do versus what you don't love doing so much. And even if there's a bit of sacrifice in the middle of the year, it will be repaid. Tell me about Pisces spirit totem animal for this year, the year of the dragon. We have turtle, nice. 
water energy. And it's bringing to mind a different deck I have of the turtle where it says slow and steady wins the race. And definitely with the seven of pentacles to the two of swords, you could kind of be feeling that slower energy at first, but that does not mean nothing's working out for you. That does not mean that you are doing anything to block it. It's just what you're asking for is something that is going to last a long time. So it takes a bit to create. But Pisces, with the turtle energy, especially like it looks like a sea turtle almost here, you guys just need to carry what is meant and what you have always felt will be a part of your life, your gifts, your talents, the people around you that has always lifted you up, who has always inspired you. And protect yourself and go in your shell when you sense that there are people and things that are not so helpful to you, not so healing for you, that are sending you out of your balance. But overall, Pisces, you are one that is perseverant. You are one that sees the finish line and does not give up because you're tired. You keep going. And that energy of the turtle, whether you start to see more turtles this year or remind yourself, just because I am the turtle doesn't mean the one that is the hare is going to always win. I will take my time. I will be diligent. I will trust. And each step I take towards that, I will get there. That's what spirit wants you to know, Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get one more message for you guys. This will be advice from spirit about year of the dragon. Anything else that I can tell you about this? I also want to say, like, take your time with meeting this new person. Go slower than, you know, rushing into a passionate romance. I mean, it's not that passion can't ha be had here, but... You know, I think a lot of you guys in the past got carried away with the moment instead of looking at the long term. So find the person that is willing to take time, that is willing to build slowly over time than the one that just wants to jump right on in bed. Okay, Pisces. But we have master. Yes, Pisces. It says you can solve your problems naturally and cleverly. Proceed with courage and decisive strategy. Let your opponent underestimate you. A Taoist master uses soft to conquer hard. Leverage the power of your adversary to your advantage. This is that temptation energy all the way. And I do feel, Pisces, you're mastering some sort of karmic temptation that has always been prevalent, I say, for the last few years for some of you guys. But by overcoming this, by finally breaking out of this, you've mastered a part of your life purpose, life journey here in year of the dragon and spirit is going to be so proud of you Pisces and that's when you'll be showing spirit that you're ready for the gift to come with the ace of cups and I'm excited to see it as well thank you so so much Pisces for joining me for this reading I hope it's giving you clarity insight healing and guidance in regards to what's happening for you guys year of the dragon and if it has please let me know drop a comment below hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.